Hello everyone, welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to rig a simple cube and animate it. So, let's get started. First, you can bring this tab out just a little bit, and then click the modifier, click add modifier, armature, just like that. So now let's add the bone, the armature. So click shift A, mesh, armature, single bone, just like that. Then press 1, then 5, and you can zoom in, bring this down just a little bit, and then right click on the top guy after you go into edit mode and extrude him up, just like that. And you can go above the cube just a little bit, maybe bring it down like that. Okay, now right click on the cube and click this little tab, armature, just like that. And now these, these bones right here are assigned to this cube. But before we can animate it, we have to do the weight paint. And what that does, um, if you come over, hold on, I will show you, weight paint. If this is completely red right here, then the armature will move it. If it's just a little bit of, let's bring this down just a little bit. If it's like that, it won't move it very much. If it's completely red, like this, it will move the whole thing. So that what that's what weight paint does. So now, go into, let's see. Hold on one second. Okay, single bone like that. Right click on this guy. Oh, right there. Um, hold on. Right click on the bone. Go into pose mode. There we go. And then shift right click like that. Boom. Now, do the weight paint down here. Like this. And on that side too. Okay, so now if we go back these are the bones. This bone controls on the bottom, and then this this bone up here, uh, this one right there, controls the top. So now we can do a little bit of animating. So go back into object mode and right click on the bone. And if you're in pose mode, that's down here, pose mode, you can rotate this and that will rotate like that. And if you come down here and select this guy, it will rotate it like that. But first, we have to subdivide this so it's not all boxy and weird looking. So click W, subdivide, and let's do 15 cuts, just like that. And I'm going to close this tab so we get a little bit more room. So now if we go into object mode, right click on this, and then animate it, look at that. It's a lot, it looks a lot better, doesn't it? And we can go this way, oh, rotate Y, like that. We can rotate it anyway, we can scale it up. <laughs> like that we can do anything we want so right click on the cube and let's add a smooth shading and then come to the modifier and let's add a edge split modifier so now if we rotate it there's no more like faces or it's it's totally smooth just like that so now let's do a little bit of animating so press A to make sure everything's selected and you can press Z and to make sure press I location rotation scale Good. Now you can change the frame number. I'm going to go with 30, then press 3, and I'm going to rotate it, however, just like this. Maybe scale them up. <laughs> Anything's fine. Then press I. I'll make sure you have everything selected. I, location, rotation, scale. Then I'm going to go to 60, rotate it a little bit more, like that. Bring them up, I, location, rotation, then go 90, rotate them a little bit more, maybe scale them back down to his original size, like that, rotate, I, then one more, like that, rotate them, then bring them down, and like that, and scale, and make sure everything's selected, I, location, rotation. So now, if we play this, oh, <laughs> look at that. We have our animated cube. Let's add a plane so we can have him sit on it. So press Shift A, Mesh, Plane. Then scale that plane up. And let's bring it down just a little bit. Let's go to the beginning of the animation. And let's bring it right there so, he's, so the cube is standing on it. And then let's right click on this, actually right click on these, um, 
click here and let's let's bring them down just a little bit and make sure you're on this frame number down here 120 120 um, maybe a little bit more down I location rotation scale then let's play it and he should like do a front flip some sort of look back flip and then sit there you go and that is the basics of rigging just, just some basics you know not that complicated uh, another trick for you guys if you wanna do automatic weights this is how you do it if you're in weight paint mode then you have everything selected W assign automatic from bones and that will automatically assign all the weights and everything so if you have like a really complex character or um, whatever and you don't want to weight paint it yourself you can press W and click that and that will ma and make sure you have everything selected then W yeah and that will assign all the weights for you you don't have to do it yourself so that's that's handy okay I think that concludes the tutorial it's just a short one for you guys and yeah not that complicated so if you learned something if you didn't know rigging there you go <laughs> you sort of know what to do okay thank you for watching and if you have any questions or something leave it in the comments and yeah there you go basics of rigging okay thanks for watching goodbye